Evening all, Trey here, how are you? I was at a family function today and some extended family members had said they'd turn up and they didn't. So, what's your word worth? So when you say you're going to be somewhere, do you actually front up? Now, it, I know we've all been in at times where things have happened and, you know, we've, for whatever reason, we can't quite make something. But these days with mobile phones at everyone's fingertips, it seems like it's pretty much, there's kind of always someone you could contact to say, hey, I'm not going to be able to make it. So what's the impact? Well, the impact is that, you know, this was a, you had to, with the numbers that were catered for, they had to be paid for. So it wasn't just a turn up and pay as you go. So there was an impact to this, but the uh, that's the short-term impact. But also the long-term impact is that, you know, you get a bit of a reputation. People will remember these kind of things. So next time, they might sort of maybe not take you totally for your word. So when you are doing whatever it is in life, what is the impact of your word? And can you be kept at your word? So it might be that, you know, it seems like a really small thing, but these things have a broader impact than, than what we might think. So sometimes it's eroding at our own um, self-value, the fact that we don't even take our own words seriously. So how do we then expect others to? So... I guess sometimes we really need to be more conscious of the way we throw our words around, how we sort of commit to things. Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect at this, but it certainly is something that when you're on the other end of the impact, it kind of makes you think, well, maybe I need to step up and be more of my word because I know that that has an effect on me when others say something and and it doesn't eventuate. So I hope you will be uh, careful with your words as you kind of consider what could be the impact both short term and long term of, you know, not being your word, not being a person of your word, because it does have an impact on yourself, on others, both in the short in the long term and I think that impact on yourself is probably greater than um, the impact it may have on others because if we sort of start you know not really taking uh, being a person of our own word for ourselves so even if it's like saying well I said I would do this tonight and it's like oh well something else came up did something else but, you know, how often do we just kind of let ourselves kind of off the hook rather than say, OK, maybe I need to look at how I plan, how I commit to doing things differently because it all goes in in one way in terms of our ability to step up and take ourselves seriously and hopefully the way others view us as well. Anyway. Just some